I've trolled my teachers with just my Nintendo Switch. Well, I guess school's over already. You can all go home. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. <coughs> well, that's a shame. Hey, turn off the game or you're in trouble. All right, listen, if I play the troll face song full volume right now, then that means I want absolutely nothing to do with you. Don't do it. See, I would never do such a terrible... Uh, that's it, you're suspended. Huh? How do you like that? Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, fuck you, bitch. Hey, who's playing that? We're taking a test. Wait, what are you all doing? Turn that off right now. All right, which one of you did that? He did it.
Here's the time Eleanor drew to a young translator just for doing her job. You're playing a guitar, electric guitar, right? Yes. Yeah. What else do you want to learn? Just one question. Just what else does he want? Telling him, but just ask him what I'm saying. Okay, sorry. Um, you said I had some Now, that was that well, don't just ask okay, him. Sorry. Don't look at me and go, I don't know. We're not having a conversation. I'm asking him, what, what is a finger style? Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, all right, calm down. There it is. God damn it, Chug. Come on, come on. All right, all right, calm down. There it is. God damn it, Chug. What's your birthday? It was October 4th. October 4th. You turned 30. I did. How was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Last time I was on the show, last year, you gave me a bunch of about not inviting you, but I didn't even know you wanted to be invited. Well, who doesn't want to be invited to a party? Well, I didn't even know you liked me. <laughs> of course I like you. You knew I liked you. You've been on the show many times, and, and don't I show like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I did invite you, and you didn't come. So This time you invited me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't think so. Ask everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jonathan, your producer. I yeah, was invited? Right Why didn't I go? I don't know. Was it... Was it, it oh, yeah, I had that thing. Um... <laughs> And that just, that doesn't seem right to me. How is this okay that I, an American, am being conquered, basically, in my own home? Is anybody else upset with this? I, I, it has nothing to do with race. I'm, I'm speaking about fellow Americans being pushed out of their homes and uh, being conquered by people who aren't from here, people who don't speak our language. It just, it feels wrong. This diversity thing doesn't seem like a, it's going good. In white American culture, ethno-nationalism plays a central role in self-identity. Because of white ethno-nationalism, English is not just the dominant language. It's considered superior and mandatory for integration and acceptance into society, a belief that goes back to European imperialism and remains alive and well today. But why? This entire narrative is fear-based thinking. It's meant to further promote white ethno-nationalistic identity and the dominance of whiteness. These elements together create an environment where newer arrivals and people of color are more marginalized and subjected to Anglo conformity in order to gain acceptance. This then maintains the status quo and perpetuates systemic inequality.
Sorry, I didn't mean it. Please call up. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Right. It was very, very hard. Look at my hand, look. Okay, yeah. I, I, so, <laughs> it's not bad, you know? Fucking hell. And, and by the way, Kamala will not be your first female president. She will not be your first female president. It's not the way it's supposed to be. We're not supposed to have a socialist. Look, we're not going to be a socialist nation. We're not going to have a socialist president, especially any female, especially any female, especially any female socialist president. We're not going to have it. We're not going to put up with it. It's not going to happen. It is the weirdest thing to me. Democrats say that it is racist to believe. Well, they say it's racist to do anything. I had a Diet Mountain Dew yesterday, and one today. I'm sure they're gonna call that racist too, but it's good. <laughs> I love you guys. But <laughs> My name's Liam C, and I saw your uh, Camden documentary. I think it's amazing. I'm right now, I'm busking around Camden, and I just wanted to play you 30 seconds of my song, and if you like it, I just wanna get your reaction, that's it. Okay. Uh, I tell myself, don't stress, it's are gonna get better Got no peace for the week, whatever Singing in the street, like I'm playing Coachella Not a champagne life, but I'm happy with the Stella Stella, yeah Listen, aye, and she don't do what they tell her Ice cream weather, but she's all black leather Spice like pepper, 10 out of 10 uh. Ain't got a fella, but I'll never say, never lie, no uh, how many times can I fall for this? So many nights when my phone don't ring, yeah. Aye, right. now she's acting all extra. Yeah, I love it, mate. It's so good. Oh, no. Can I get a hug? So good, so good. Nice yeah, to yeah, meet you. Yeah, of course. Nice That's to meet you. You smashed it on yeah, the stage. Yeah, thank you so much. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Done it. We played to Stormzy, we played to Dua Lipa. We've had a fucking great weekend. This is what it's about. It's not about having loads of money in your bank, being a rock star, being skint and breaking down fucking doors to get where you want to be. Thank you so much, Glastonbury 2024. Let's go and hand ourselves in and uh, get removed. Thank you. Ma! <laughs> 再吃他家吃了一块儿，他又吐了一块儿，给他俩，给给咱俩再吐了一块儿，他这个没吃就着了，干嘛？再还没吃上车，你去呢，再还没吃上车，你去呢，再还没吃上车，你去呢，过来，